welcome back to my channel so today we're doing something a little different I actually um, am gonna be doing a DIY budget spa day um, I don't know about you guys but I have just been so wrecked with all of this COVID stuff and um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are too it's just been a really weird time you know um, and like I said, you know, I've said in other videos, like I'm cool staying home. It's not even that really. Um, it's, you know, a little bit of lack of social interaction. Even for me after a while, it's getting a little overwhelming. Um, so you've got that to contend with. And then not only that, but if you work in healthcare or in retail, like it's just, you know, extra difficult, you know? Um, so <laughs> that's where we are now. Um, but we're living with it and we're trying to adapt. But my message today is going to be that you just want to um, really, you've got to take care of yourself and I'm not good about that. Um, so in this video, I hope if nothing else to teach you guys, even if it's a small thing that you do for yourself a day, um, you know, maybe taking a hot bath, you know, just for that little bit of time or putting on a face mask or anything. You don't have to do all of these things because um, this is kind of excess. This is me not taking care of myself for a long time and just needing a moment, you know, a whole like section of time to just take to myself um, so that's what you're seeing here but um, yeah so we've got a full agenda on today but again um, you can't really be your best for others if you don't take care of yourself so that's the message today so you always want to be able to be your own best advocate first um, and then that way you can always advocate for others and, and do the things that you need to do. So um, that's my message today <laughs> in summary. We've already started the video, but um, you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. So uh, first on the agenda, I just did some aromatherapy. I have a uh, Bath and Body Works candle that I've had. So I went ahead and lit that. I did a, a bath bomb. And you guys know in my other Dollar Tree haul video, I bought these really cute bath bombs. But major disappointment, you guys. Recommend getting uh, maybe the four pack of bath bombs. They might be better. Um, that way at least you're getting like four for a dollar. Like that one was just one giant one and I thought it was gonna fizz up a lot and it really didn't. But you know, you live and you learn. <laughs> so there's that. And um, you know, I did end up putting in some Epsom salts into the bath just to add a little bit more of like a health benefit to it. Um, I did a, hel um, a hair mask on my hair because it was getting a little dry and crusty. Um, and then I put on a just a face mask to kind of clean up my skin because as you can see, my skin's really red. I already had rosacea and then I feel like with wearing masks all the time, like all day long, um, it's really done a number on my skin. I'm getting like more acne than I was. I feel like my face is just not its best ever. So um, I'm also doing this jade roller as well because I got it and then I didn't use it. So I really wanted to kind of do some uh, massaging on my face. Um, <laughs> but um, it's supposed to be really good for your skin as far as um, increasing their circulation and it also is really cooling too which is kind of nice on like my already really sensitive skin um, so highly recommend that and then I went over to my bedroom at that point and I set up like a whole nother station so with that sorry my bedroom's kind of messy um <laughs> but uh, I set up a foot bath um, and then got that kind of going with some nice hot water and I just soaked my feet for a little bit longer and um, I didn't put anything on them initially just kind of soak them and then later I decided to put on some foot scrub just to get off any dead skin my feet weren't actually too bad you can always um, take this time too to scrub any calluses if you have those on your toes or anything um, but like we haven't really been going out very much like, you know in flip-flops and stuff So I haven't really got like real callousy feet at the moment um, So I just did a scrub just to kind of like tidy them up a little bit more and um, Then I did that on both feet and then just kind of re-soak them a little bit more I dried them off and then I did a little bit of lotion now some of these products It's just things I have laying around the house and you don't necessarily need to go and buy a bunch of these products Just go and look around your house and see what you already have available to use. That's what I would recommend do That's the most budget-friendly thing to do um, I'm sure everybody has a little bit of lotion laying around, you know, if you don't have a scrub um, At the end of the video, I'll have a cost breakdown of some of the products I used and also like where you can find them and you know 
know, if you want to do like a more expensive option, you know, I've got a price estimate on that too. So you have like kind of a cost breakdown, like going to a real spa versus just doing it at home. So hang tight for the end of that video, so you, or the end of the video so you can see that. So here's me just rubbing my foot, you know, sorry it's a close up of my foot. Anyway, if anybody's weirded out by that. Um, but I'm just getting the lotion in there really well and trying to get it nice and absorbed. That lotion I really like because it's the eucalyptus spearmint scent and it's really relaxing. So I just have some socks that I save for like just this occasion, which is like soaking lotion into my feet, just because I wouldn't normally wear fuzzy socks. So there's that. Um, and then next is kind of weird, but um, you know, after last video, I went and bought, um, or like last couple videos, I went and bought a foot bath pan. So what I recommend to do is if you don't want to invest in like a more expensive foot bath, then just get this dish pan from the Dollar Tree. You can soak your feet and hands in it. So maybe do your hands first and soak your feet, you know, like whichever, but you put fresh water in it, obviously. Um, but I just did this a little bit because my hands are kind of scratched up right now because, you know, cats. Um, so, and like I have really sensitive skin because I've been hand washing a lot. So my cuticles and like my skin's just kind of messed up. So um, I use the same foot scrub as the hand scrub, okay? So like you don't need to buy multiple, multiple products. They work just fine on both. Um, now this massager here, I had this on while I was soaking my hands. So the clips um, are a little backwards there, but whatever. Um, so while I was soaking my hands and doing the treatment on those, I had my feet in the massager with the socks on. So what that ended up doing is massaging the lotion in deeper into my hands or in my feet and it helped dry it out a little bit, you know, like soak the lotion up better. And I feel like that really helped. And also you get a foot massage at the same time. So that's kind of nice. So here I am like after my face mask and all that stuff. And I bought this robe just for like relaxing at home. But it's really nice for like doing the spa treatment I found out. Because it's just really silky and it's comfy. Um, and you just feel like you're treating yourself, you know. So I'm putting a little moisturizer on my face because my face is like always dry. So I'm just rubbing that in. And then at the end here, I'm just going to go ahead and do the jade roller over top of it again, just to give myself an extra face massage. So you can see right here, my face is getting a little bit less red than it was earlier, but I had just removed the, um, the, um, face scrub. So, or the face mask. So it was kind of like a little bit red from that. So I'm going back in, just kind of doing the jade roller over again and just kind of adding to extra circulation in my skin there. And then the next thing after this, you're going to watch me do this for a little bit, but um, the next thing I did was to go and like into my brows and I would probably recommend doing your brows before you put on the face lotion because obviously your brow hair can stick in your face, but whatever, you know, I don't um, always have an exact plan. Um, I just kind of do it, um, but that would be my recommendation because like I had a few brow hairs kind of fall and then they like were like in my moisturizer, but like, you know, it's not a big deal. I'm just staying at home, <laughs> but you know, that would be something that I would do a little bit different next time. So, um, you know, other than that, <laughs> just key factors here. Um, but I feel like if you went and did all this at a spa, I mean, obviously someone else is going to be treating you and it's a little bit nice in that regard. I mean, well, a lot nice in that regard, but the cost sometimes is pretty prohibitive on that. And then not only that, but you know, right now I don't have to like be in clothes. <laughs> I can be comfortable. Um, I can be in the privacy of my own house. Um, you know, during a lot of this, you could either listen to like really relaxing music, which I've done in the past, or like earlier, I was like, I would just want to watch some just trashy YouTube videos and just hang out and be like alone and think, you know, like you can just do that, you know, and obviously if you're at a spa, you're not going to get that experience. So this lotion is the one I used on my feet and I'm going to use that on my hands as well. I just use that kind of at the very end there. Um, so you've got that lotion there and I'm just kind of soaking that into my hands, kind of like the last step. Um, again, before you probably do your brows before, <laughs> so don't follow my exact order, but you get the gist of what we're aiming for here. So, um, yeah, just kind of soaking that in my hands. But, um, anyway, so this little shaver, I put some cost breakdowns at the end here. This thing has like been amazing. So basically I bought this maybe five, six years ago. It's still going strong. You just replace the battery in it. And 
all you do is just kind of trim out the extra brow hairs. I mean, if you have like really bushy brows, then you might want to still do a wax. I don't know. But I mean, for me, it works perfectly fine. So here's going to be the cost breakdown. You've got a candle. The one that I had was a Bath and Body Works one. So what, like use the supplies you already have, like by all means. Um, but if you want, here's the like cost breakdown on things you can buy. A lot of stuff you can get from the Dollar Tree. You can always go to Walmart, like just keep it budget friendly. The optional things here would be like the foot massager. That's a little bit pricier. So you don't necessarily have to have that. Or I didn't include it in here, but the neck massager I have would have been really nice. Um, and you basically just put that on your neck and back and kind of like massages that area too. So you could have done that with the foot massage, but it's, you know, again, up to you. And then here's the cost breakdown on what it would be if you go to like a real spa. These prices are like kind of for my area. The lowest cost options were like at the, um, the school, like the training school. And then the highest options were kind of like more bougie, bougie places. Um, and that could even be some other places. And then the manicure price, that one is more for like a very simple manicure with not like a lot of painting and stuff like that. I just wanted to jump back in here. I added one more thing, real spa experience. It's a one-time experience. Not that it's not a great experience, but it's still a one-time experience for that cost versus um, getting the supplies yourself. And then minimum that you can do on the cheapest would be to get um, at least six uses, let's say out of the lotion and the cream and stuff like that. Um, but all the other items, the larger items, you get unlimited use until they just break or something happens to them. So I thought that would be important to add here too. Even though the cost maybe up front is a little more costly, you get more out of the experience long-term because you have more uh, times that you can do it. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys.